or you're not being outbeat by the 3%, 4% commission cutters that are out there. Right, right. So what, what would be your number one objection handler to, to would you cut your commission? Yeah, you know, I, I love when they say cut your commission. And the biggest thing, and this is what we use today is, you know, Ricky, I, I get the fact that you, you want me to cut my commission. It sounds like you want to net the most amount of money possible, right? I am what I am today because I did it my way. Nothing y'all can say. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Ricky Kruth, and today I'm super excited about this subject of not cutting our commission. I think this is big because there's so many discount brokers out there and, and agents trying to go lower so that they can get the listing and, and so on and so forth. And I think this is a very big subject that we need to tackle and we need to work on this together as an industry. Also last week I gave away a lot of signed copies of my book, List to Last. I'm going to do the same thing at the end of this video. So stay tuned to the end and I'm going to give away three signed copies of my book. So the clip from earlier was an interview I did with Adrian Hernandez out of Inferno Real Estate in California. Him and his friend Danny Morell are out there doing really big things, pushing the envelope, doing events, and really like myself pushing hard to change the game and flip the industry upside down and really help other agents. If you want to catch that entire interview, I'm going to put a link to the podcast in the description below. But I do like this subject, so I'm going to let you guys listen to the rest of that clip right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's and, and skill set. I've been nailing them on skill set. This morning we were talking about the commission handler. So right now we're just we're we're really focusing on, hey Ricky, will you cut your commission? Okay, and then being so good at that mm -hmm. objection handler, having two or three ways to handle it, mm -hmm. so you're not being punched off of the, uh, you're not being punched out when you, when you go and present, or you're not being outbeat by the three percent, four percent commission cutters that are out there. Right, right. So what, what would be your number one objection handler to, to would you cut your commission? Yeah, you know, I, I love when they say cut your commission. And the biggest thing, and this is what we use today is, you know, Ricky, I, I get the fact that you, you want me to cut my commission. It sounds like you want to net the most amount of money possible, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But, and with this tightening market, I got to ask you, if an agent's willing to walk in your home and automatically cut his or her commission just like that, mm -hmm. I got to ask you, man, what are they going to do to the hard-earned equity that you've spent so many years building for your for you and your family? Mm -hmm. I mean, don't you think they're going to roll over just like they rolled over on their own paycheck? Right, right. And, and you don't want that, do you? Right. So Sorry. that's been the biggest commission handle that we've really been using. That and then the other thing is when you take a 4% commission or you take a 3.5% commission, you're only offering out a percent and a half to 2% to the other agent. How mm -hmm. many agents are actually going to show that? Let's right. be honest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so that's, that's another demonstration that we've been going into also is showing them the cost over value. And mm -hmm. I always use this. I go, Ricky, I got to ask you a question. If, if, if I don't sell your house, if I don't get you the price you want, are you still going to pay me? So I love what Adrian said about if another agent's going to come in here and just cut their commission that quick, how quick do you think they're going to come down on the price for your property and take away some of that hard earned equity that you've been building up for all these years? That's a very nice, smooth way to handle that objection. Here's where I added my two cents. You know, I, I think a big thing, and this, this is, you know, to go out to all the agents listening, I, I, think, I think one of the big problems with the commission cutting is most agents cut way too early. They, they don't hold out. Like they're too scared. They, they just crumble as soon as there's a little sign that the, that the, the, and the seller, they're just playing poker with you. They're trying to see if you will budge a little, they're trying to save money of course. And like, if you, if you'll just hold firm, right? Like I, I'm all about cutting. Like if I have to, if I have to, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to walk away from a deal over a little money, dude. I'm trying to, my long-term goal is the relationship. And so if I can do it for 2% and give another agent three or two and a half, I'm going to do it because like I said, every person is worth 20 to uh, 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career. But at the same time, hold, hold that under your sleeve that you'll do that. Don't just automatically drop. Do what you can to try to play the game and fill them out and see if they will give you that full commission before you drop. And if you have to, you have to, but, but don't do it so quickly. So like I was saying there, I think most realtors get scared too soon. They cut their commission way too quick and they don't even give it a chance to see if there's a possibility of getting the full commission. Play it out. You never know quite what people's motivations are. Sometimes they want to play a little poker with you. 
So it's your job to play a little poker back because you negotiating that commission, you're not only negotiating your commission, you're negotiating another broker's commission if you don't represent both sides. You're also negotiating your broker's commission of whatever cut they get and it all trickles down. So it's not just you that you're negotiating for. Being a great negotiator in any sense of the word is staying firm on your initial offer and then backing down as you absolutely need to and knowing when those points of negotiation that you'll actually need to come down because a lot of times you'll think that this is the point of the negotiation where you need to squeeze a little but it's not, not even close. So I want you to stay firm, I want you to play it out, I want you to see where it goes and if you have to come down. Don't lose the deal over a couple dollars or a half a percent or even a percent. You want to make the deal happen. Your overall goal is the relationship. You want to really establish that relationship and let those clients know that you're going to go over the top and make sure that they're satisfied with however the deal goes down. But at the end of the day, you are worth what you're worth. And for the amount of work that we put into each deal, the amount of stress, the amount of pressure that we feel as real estate agents, we deserve every single penny of our full commission. So I want you guys to rise up. I want you to stand up for our full commission. I want you to stay firm on our full commission. A lot of people tell me, hey, I'll let friends and family do 5%. Well, here's the thing. Friends and family are the ones that absolutely want to pay you the full percentage. You're going into the deal saying I'm gonna cut it right off the bat just because this is a friend or family or repeat business. And look, I feel like I cut my commission on every deal some form or fashion. I might pay for a little inspection stuff. I might do this, I might do that. I may cut it from the beginning if I feel like I have to, but I'm gonna play out the situation. And I'm gonna squeeze for as much as I can because like I said, it all trickles down to other people and we need to negotiate as high as we can for everybody else involved in the deal. As far as all these discount brokers showing up, I feel like they don't provide near the service that we as individual agents provide. And if I have a client that wants to go venture over to a discount broker and experiment with that avenue of doing a deal, buying or selling, I want them to go experience that and find out for themselves if they actually feel like they're getting their money's worth over there. Because what I found is when I let a client go, that client comes right back because they find out that the service is nowhere near what it is when they deal with me. So don't be scared. Realize business is unlimited. You're gonna lose some clients here and there. You just need to keep pressing forward and just make it happen. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you with your confidence going into listing appointments to go for that full commission and gives you a little ammo to maybe possibly get that full commission. And But at the same time, know when you need to cut and know when you need to stand firm. I wanna give away three signed copies of my book, List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. What I'm gonna do is, is if I get up to 30 comments in this video, I'm gonna pick out three people. So comment below, give me your thoughts on cutting commissions, what's your favorite way to handle the objection when a seller wants you to cut your commission, and let me know if you have any questions whatsoever, and definitely click subscribe and hit the bell. We'll talk to you soon.